Hey Shaheen. I also chose to look at the code of fair testing practices in education. Um, and uh, you are right, or I would have to agree that strengths and limitations of assessment instruments are not always listed within technical manuals, but they should be. This is so important. Like so many other things in the world, assessment instruments aren't exactly perfect. Um, and it helps the administrator to know the test better and to help them choose um, the proper test or the, like, the most appropriate test for the purpose that they want to use it for. Um, so I guess maybe some developers would want to hide this info so that their instrument looks better or looks as if it is of a higher quality. Um, but it's really important to include those things so that way like test results are interpreted um, and calculated accurately. And then I also like how you said it is very important to follow the provided procedures when administering an assessment. And this covered that really well. Um, my thought was that this also protects you, the administrator, so if something were maybe to go wrong during the test, like maybe um, an examinee were to complain about something, you can show them that you followed the procedures that the test developers gave you, and then the weight of the issue um, is hopefully placed on the test developers and not you. So following those is super important. Um, and then I, like you, found this article included so many aspects um, of what we've learned in class. Uh, it was very detailed and very clear. Um, something that I loved about these codes is how they touched on diversity, especially including individuals with disabilities. Um, test developers should include individuals with disabilities in their norming samples if they hope that their tests can be used with this population, and then they should also create appropriate versions of the test um, and like proper instructions on how to administer and such um, to diverse individuals um, like those with disabilities. I really appreciated how it um, captured that really well. So thanks!